What's up guys, Ernest Langdon from Langdon Tactical and today I'm going to walk you through the much awaited video on how to replace the trigger in your PX4. Okay, first thing you're going to have to obviously make sure the gun is unloaded and field strip and all we really need for this is the frame and the first thing you're going to do is take the trigger group out of the gun you have to do that to be able to access the actual trigger so what you're going to want to do is get a very small flat headed screwdriver you're going to pull the trigger and hold it to the rear so that the hammer's out of the way and the trigger bar is out of the way so you can reach down on the inside and pop out the hammer pin. This is the one of the things that trips people up when they're replacing or taking their trigger group out of the gun is this small pin right here is the inner hammer pin. And when you're taking it out, this is what you're doing with the screwdriver. You're actually pushing that spring down just a little bit so that you can then push that pin out of the middle. And that's one of the pins that holds the trigger group in place hammer pin pops out of the left side of the gun and then you're going to take another punch and knock the main trigger pin out and then your entire trigger group will come out okay you're going to pull the trigger and grab the trigger bar and push it to the right side of the frame so that it slides out of the trigger itself now your trigger bar is out in case you need to replace that you can do that at the same time and now we need to take the actual trigger out you're going to want to use about a 3 30 seconds inch punch and that's going to allow you to be almost exactly the same size as the trigger pin so take that pin and you can pop it out but once you, once you get it started what you want to do is put pressure on it and then manipulate the trigger both back and forth and side to side so that it will release the trigger and the pin at the same time. And I'll explain why here in just a second. Go ahead and leave that punch in place, pull the trigger all the way out, and then turn the frame back over so that it is down on your bench and then pull the punch out. The reason you want to do that is your trigger return springs under pressure and it's going to launch across the room if you don't capture it. Okay, it's going to pop out and the trigger comes out through the actual trigger guard uh, area of the gun. Before you go to put the trigger in the gun, you want to make sure if you're replacing any plastic or stamp steel trigger with a machine steel trigger, you want to make sure that your trigger pin goes all the way through. These steel machine trigger pins are going to be machined at a tighter tolerance than some of the stamped ones. You want to make sure that you have enough tolerance there in those holes, those pin holes. Sometimes you'll need to take a drill bit or something and open up maybe a half a thou to make the trigger pin fit correctly. All right, then you're going to take the trigger itself, your new flat trigger, for example, and you're going to thread it in through the trigger guard and up into the slots of the frame. Then you can use the actual trigger pin itself to act as a slave for you. I like to come in from the left to the right to get that first pin hole in place, but I only want to push it in far enough to where it captures the trigger not to where it gets in the way of the trigger spring. Then you're going to use a uh, long set of needle nose pliers. In this case, uh, I've got a, the easy button, which is to use the HK trigger spring pliers, which are modified, but you don't need this. Be careful when you're putting this in. Don't crush the spring, but you want to put it in so that the two legs are going to the back side of the trigger itself. So put it down into place. You got the, the long piece in the front and the two legs are going on the trigger. Push the trigger to the forward, at, uh, to the front as you push it in. And then you can start that trigger pin through the hole. What I find works really well is I can push it against the bench to get it started. And once I capture that one side of the spring, I can use a punch or, or something to push the other side down and push it the rest of the way through. Once you get it most of the way through, one of the problems you may run into is that trigger pin, because of it being dog-eared on either side, you may have to push on the pin and manipulate that trigger around so that it goes the rest of the way into the part. And then you can tap it into it's flush with the frame. 
All right, and then we just repeat the assembly process. Trigger bar goes in first, pull the trigger to the rear so that it slides down into the open space in the frame. Trigger group goes down in, get your trigger bar in place first in the slot in the frame. You're gonna have to push the trigger bar in as you push the trigger group down to the frame. If, you, if it binds up, just give it a tap as you push down on the ejector. I put the hammer pin in first, then the sear pin in, and it's reassembled. There you have it, guys. It's a fairly easy installation. Take your time, don't rush, and don't force things. If they're not going together and coming apart easily, you're probably doing something wrong. Train hard, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Keep up to date. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to langdontactical.com. And to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.